there, my name is Melissa Lui and I graduated from Monash University in 2021. I was from the School of Business with double majors in Accounting and Finance. During my time in university, I enjoyed involving myself in extracurricular activities such as uh, Musa in 2020 where I was elected as Vice President and participating in Monash Cup. I would say that this speaks about me as a person, as I'm an extroverted person that likes to meet new people and thankfully, my university life gave me the opportunity to do so. I'm currently a graduate analyst, aka a management trainee at HSBC under commercial banking. This program is an 18-month program that consists of three rotations from a wide array of departments such as Global Trade and Receivables Finance, Global Payment Solutions, corporate banking, business banking, and so many more. It's actually quite a funny story on how I got this job. So I remember it was December 2021 and I just finished my final. So I wasn't planning on starting my job search so quickly because I wanted a break after studying. Then I got an email from student services at Monash that there was a management trainee program that was about to close soon. So I wasn't expecting much out of it and I just submitted my job application to try my luck and Few months later, I got the job. So please appreciate your student life and look out for any job opportunities that may appear on there. HSBC is a well-established global bank that is headquartered in London, with its newly built Malaysian headquarters at Menar IQ located at Tun Raza Exchange, known as Malaysia's International Financial District. The company is very nurturing towards us graduate analysts as HSBC locations all over the world have this global graduate program. HSBC is a bank that prides itself in sustainable efforts with, for example, their hybrid working model that is being implemented for employees to be able to work from home and go to the office. So it's a half-half. The Global Graduate Program is a well-planned development path for graduates because it has the support of all teams in the bank. Managers and colleagues are happy to teach and to guide you. Standing out allows you to put yourself out there, which helps you gain self-confidence. It teaches you to be firm in what you believe in and it toughens you up to not be easily affected by what others may say or think about you. Not to mention, it is a great way to make meaningful connections with others. Definitely. It helped me develop my people skills and that is exactly what companies look out for in both internships and full-time jobs. I think that joining student clubs can say a lot about a person. For example, we all know that the academic workload of a student in university is a lot, but being able to juggle that and still have time for extracurricular accomplishments, it tells people that you are good at time management, organizational skills and so much more. When you join a club or an organization, you are bound to meet people that share the same values and views as you do. You always feel more empowered when you have the support of others and that helps you gain more confidence in yourself. As students, we oftentimes like to blend to the crowd and just follow the norm. To overcome this fear, I implore you to take the leap and to join student clubs or meet new people in university. I know this may not be easy because sometimes your friends might not want to join you, but that crucial first step will make it easier for you down the road. Once you put yourself out there, I'm sure you will come across like-minded people that will continuously open up new doors for you and to help you grow. I think there's nothing wrong with friendly competition with others, but you do need to make sure to make yourself uh, keep, you need to keep yourself in check and have the emotional uh, maturity to be able to distinguish friendly rivalry and a hostile relationship. To prevent competition from affecting your relationship with others, it is important to focus on your self-development and what's important to you. What would you get out of this experience? That's important to think about. I can think of a similar experience I had when I was competing for a role with others. So some people might try to stir up challenges or create drama and bring you down. Or even just to distract you from keeping your eye on the end goal. In times like this, it is important to value the people who are beside you and focus on yourself. That's when you can get the best outcome from the situation. 
As a fresh graduate, you wouldn't have much work experience that can differentiate you from other graduates. And that's where your extracurricular achievements come in. Employers will derive questions from your extracurricular activities and internships. So it's important before you go in for an interview, I advise you to think of an experience from one from your internship and one from your extracurricular activities. Think of an, a bad experience or a learning experience. Um, what were the challenges that you faced and how did you overcome it? How um, What did you learn from it? That is something that's very important to prepare yourself for during an internship. The things that you learn from student clubs, like how to manage stress, time and people, this can be translated to a job setting and that is exactly what employers are looking out for. The workforce is a competitive place and fresh graduates have to adapt to make themselves stand out. So I have two pieces of advice. Number one, do not be discouraged by rejection. A couple years ago, I was looking for a summer internship after my finals and unfortunately, I did either did not receive any replies from my initial, from my initial job application or um, I just uh, didn't pass the interview. So this made me feel very demotivated but luckily, I did manage to get an internship on short notice. So looking back at that time in my life, it's funny to think about how I felt because I turned out just fine. So it's important to keep your head held high and tackle job applications with the mindset that you are confident that you will get the job. Because with that mindset, it will just make job applications and the interviews easier for you and that will translate into confidence. And by going through multiple interviews, even if you do not get the job, you can gain interview experience. The other piece of advice I have is to not be afraid to involve yourself more in your university life. Don't just come to uni and then after your class straight go home and then just repeat the cycle. During COVID, I lost two years of my university life and I still feel sad about this to this day. So I try my best to remind myself that I had an amazing first year in 2019 right before COVID started. Um, I had Musa, I joined Monash Cup, so I did make the most out of it. But it is still sad for me to, to think about the two years that I lost. So I implore you, please join um, clubs, organizations, events, anything that you can, just to meet new people and make new friends, and it will make your new university life much better, I assure you. So I just wish the best for all you young graduates in your future career. Thank you.